Hello and welcome to my video. In this video, I will discuss the reasons why I have undervolted the RTX 2070 Super while overclocking. Undervolting NVIDIA GPUs is possible with the Voltage Frequency Curve Editor in MSI Afterburner. By default, the MSI Afterburner Voltage Frequency Curve looks like this. And this is what one of my undervolting profiles looks like. To get your voltage frequency curve like this, first open MSI Afterburner. Press Ctrl plus F to bring up the voltage frequency curve editor. Beforehand, you're going to want to know what offset your GPU is stable at. For me, this value was plus 130 on the core, which I ended up at for my specific card after crashing in certain games with higher values. This value will be different for each GPU based on silicon quality. Now, for the most tedious part, you must flatten this curve. 943 millivolts is the value I chose since I found it offers a nice decrease in power consumption. To flatten the curve, you must drag each of the small squares down to match the frequency corresponding to the voltage you choose. In this case, it's 1990. Once you're done with this, click apply and save your profile. Now it's best to try some demanding games or benchmarks so you can make sure it's stable. If your GPU crashes, you're going to have to do this all over again with a lower core clock value. One other thing to note is that after clicking apply, the values of your curve may shift. My clock values were at 1990, but shifted to 1980 after clicking apply. I'm not sure why this occurs, but it's not important for the purposes of this video. With this profile, the voltage sticks to 943 millivolts, which is a nice reduction from stock, which averages around 1043 millivolts for this particular GPU. That's a reduction of about 10% on voltage, which leads to a reduction in power consumption, which allows the car to run cooler and at reduced fan speeds. This profile averages around 176 watts for the GPU which is around a 15% reduction of power consumption from stock. Not bad. Higher clocks, lower voltage, lower temperatures, reduced fan speeds, lower power. Any of these things on their own might not seem like much, but add it all up and the experience is a bit nicer, making the trial and errors of setting up this undervolt worth it for me. One of the drawbacks of undervolting and overclocking in general is that not every card is the same, so the results you see in this video may not work for you. Also, the process of flattening the curve in MSI Afterburner is somewhat time consuming. Once you have undervolted your GPU, you will also need to test its stability. You may be stable in some games and benchmarks, but not others. It took me a few tries before finding a curve that has reached 100% stability in everything I have tried so far. In the end, the results were definitely worth it for me. I prefer my PC to be as silent as possible with the components I've chosen, and undervolting while overclocking the RTX 2070 Super allows me to get higher than stock clock speeds while allowing the car to run cooler. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.